How do fellas, nice back here again uh, with another inbox review and today we're going to be taking a look at Eddard's Albatross D3. Now this is something totally alien to me, okay, I don't normally or ever have I ever done a, uh, a biplane. So this is going to be the first one I'm going to be looking at, this is the weekend edition. Uh, I know you, there are uh, uh, profit pack editions of this, uh, but I don't know much about it. Okay, so I don't even know uh, how old this kit is, you know, when it was released or anything like that. I'm not bothered about any of that. I just thought, you know, I like the look of it. And also it's got Rich, uh, is it? Right, Master Va Manfred von Richthausen. I can't even say it. Okay. Is one of the colour schemes, which and it was is quite an interesting scheme, which we'll we'll have a look at that when we get to the, the overhead. So just bear with me, put it on the overhead. So oh. as always, we're going to start with the uh, instruction book, and um, this is a uh, well, it's an A5 instruction booklet uh, on the Albatross. Obviously, it's the weekend edition, so there's not going to be any. Uh, app you know photo edge or anything like that so straight on to the uh, part map okay uh, with the blue bits that aren't going don't get used within this we'll open it up we'll start with step a which is the engine and putting some parts into the uh, fuselage a full i believe that's a forward bulkhead okay where the uh, just in in front of the pilot and also the engine will sit then in front of it now we're going to put the seats on the uh, seat belts uh, are decal with this with being open i would definitely look at maybe upgrading those to a photo edge set we then move on to putting the fuselage together uh, with the engine sitting inside uh, the lower wings, the tail plane, the tail fin, and another little, uh, is that the tail, uh, what's it called, in the tail, the tail hook, I don't know what it's called, uh, obviously putting the guns in, we then have the struts <coughs> and the, the wheels going on, <coughs> before then we move on to the uh, tail, uh, putting the guide wire, wires and the control bits on there. Moving on to them, putting the other uh, rigging on there for the aircraft, uh, the exhaust, the propping. Now, this is what you know I was really worried about with these aircraft, with these uh, First World War aircraft, is doing the actual rigging, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And then, with first of the colour profiles, we have Lieutenant Werner uh, Voss. Uh, in France, at uh, May 1917, uh, a lovely wood uh, colour, okay, with the, uh, well not wood colour, wood outer skin, uh, and then we've got the, the two-tone camo on the upper wings, and the blue on the bottom, and all the colours in Mr Hobbit Aquarius, and Mr Colour, and then we move on to uh, <coughs> The Red Barons, okay, and this one's Belgium, 1917, and as you can see, it's all in red. But if you have a look at the the markings on them, you see how the the markings are very very worn, and uh, the paint actually on the the fuselage, okay, it's very worn, and not the fuselage on the wings, so it's very worn. So this is going to be an interesting. Uh, color how to do it okay so we've got the red but then we've got the you know i don't know whether it's where it's been worn away or what but that's going to be interesting to actually try and find out and research and maybe have a go at that anyway that's the instruction okay so in the box you get two sprues all right so we'll start with sprue uh b okay and not much to write home about. So we've got the uh, upper wings, low wings, the two tails, uh, the tail fins, uh, the prop, uh, a little bit of a flash 
here and there okay uh what i'm not too sure about is see where these like silver uh, can i go with silver scratch marks i don't know whether that's just the lacquer that's coming off uh, but these going to need a good clean okay got the engine some nice detail on the engine okay what's going to be the problem with that is obviously as those two point places come together it's actually going to be getting them so they look seamless okay uh the guns look nice some nice little some nice detail on there and we'll move on to the other screw and we have the fuselage some nice uh, panel lines okay uh another upper wing and then we've got inside some nice ribbing detail in there okay a very very simple but very very well done kit okay as a seat the one of the bulkheads again a little bit of flash but again nothing to write home about nothing to worry about should all be a quick swipe of the uh, sanding stick okay and then we have the Adar decals. Now the Adar decals are dated uh, 2016. I can guarantee the kit is probably before that. Uh, I'm get them out so we can have a proper look. And then are there any? carrier film okay maybe on the uh, that one there but no it looks rather nice okay so i will just close that back up so there we are uh not much to it like i said two sprues okay uh it should touch wood uh got together really really well with being eddard even though i, I assume it's an eddard early uh, early kit uh it should be a problem going together at all and hopefully it'd be an enjoyable build now i don't know when i'll get around to build it but hopefully it'll be you know a good build all right so that is edard's albatross d3 and i will see you on the next one bye for now